In 2020, Google announced that it would be launching a new and improved version of Google Analytics, the world's most widely used web analytics service. This newest version, called Google Analytics 4, builds on previous iterations and specifically builds on the app plus web property launched last year. Google Analytics 4 has machine learning at its core to automatically surface helpful insights and give you a more robust understanding of how users are interacting with your business across devices and platforms. This change should help your business to get an improved ROI from your long-term marketing strategy and the new focus on machine learning will help give your business a more complete understanding of your users. Google Analytics 4 is a complete update of the platform and takes over from the previous generation called Universal Analytics, which was launched back in October 2012. Google Analytics 4 is focused on customers with a shift away from sessions and a focus on interactions and engagements over time with better integrations across Google's marketing products. Some of the areas in the platform that will immediately be noticeably different to veteran Universal Analytics users is that now on the left-hand side, we can see that Google Analytics splits areas by customer lifecycle stages, acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention. Search Engine Land tells us that the new Google Analytics offers deeper integration with Google Ads, including the ability to maintain audiences between web and apps. Other noticeable updates include the ability to measure more on-site or in-app actions without the need for Google Tag Manager and more options for data controls to help with GDPR compliance. One of the core elements of the new Google Analytics is the inclusion of more insights and predictions based on Google's machine learning algorithms. Vidya Srinivasan, Google's Vice President of Measurement and Analytics, said in a recent statement that by applying Google's advanced machine learning models, the new analytics can automatically alert you to significant trends in your data, like products seeing rising demand because of new customer needs. It even helps you anticipate future actions your customers may take. For example, it calculates churn probability so you can more efficiently invest in retaining customers at a time when marketing budgets are under pressure. She goes on to say that Google are continuing to add new predictive metrics like the potential revenue you could earn from a particular group of customers. This allows you to create audiences to reach higher value customers and run analysis to better understand why some customers are likely to spend more than others, so you can take action to improve your results. With machine learning playing such a key and central part of the new Google Analytics 4, businesses can now get a much more comprehensive understanding of their data. With the new functionality in Google Analytics 4, you can now predict the probability of conversions and build audience forecasts around those probabilities, identify and be warned of key trends, and more easily identify anomalies. What's more, using natural language processing, you can search for things in Google Analytics 4 using natural language to get instant results. For example, you can search for conversions last week from London. This means that it's now easier and quicker to find the data that's important to you. Google plans to continue to build on and develop Google Analytics 4, adding new forecasts so that more businesses can build more effective marketing strategies to increase their return on investment. Google Analytics 4 is now available to all Google Analytics users. All newly created Google Analytics properties will have the new experience by default. If you have an existing GA account and you want to look at the new features, you can set up a new property alongside your existing ones to try out Google Analytics 4. So what's your take on Google Analytics 4? Have you tried it? Are you still a bit nervous to jump over and see what's changed? Let us know if you'd like us to put some more content up around Google Analytics 4. We could even do a walkthrough guide on how to set one up if that would help. 
We hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you haven't done so already, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates from Optics Solutions.